Okay, I'm Martin Malgrave, Martin Wall. So this is the final article that I was working on there that you've been watching, little clips if you have been watching them. So this is my new little TV stand. That's all it is, it's all it's meant to be as a stand. That's the old, ta the old table that I had. This is it reconstituted in using the original material, plus an extra bit of wengie here. So that's the shelf for my little TV box. That's the hole, just take the cables out the back, just to keep them tidy going out there. I put legs on it there. The whole design then is based on triangles. So if you continue that tapered piece out and out to its extremity, you'll end up with a triangle for the top. This slope and sides here, even though it's only five degrees, if you continue them up, they'll come to a triangle also. Same thing with the little base like here. There's only an angle of five degrees on it here. It's actually straight here, looks better. And if you continue that on, if you continue both of them up again, that would end up as a triangle as well. So you can see the development from just the, the, the example that I have there. Put in a bit of wengie just to give the ash a lift, just to give it a bit of bounce. Now the finish is a 25% sheen. Um, I prefer the 10% myself, but anyway, the 25% um, the just tried it there, 25% sheen on this particular one there. It gives it a kind of a, a finish between satin and gloss. Uh, more, more satin than gloss, obviously. So that's, that's what I have there. Rather than just putting the plugs on the bottom here, I uh, just did the little tapered buttons there to go on to the end. There in Wengie and it just got a little coat of wax. So they're glued in there. That's it. You got the sloped taper again here, all based on triangles. If they continued on, they will give you triangles. So that's the whole genesis of the table itself, was just to work with the concept of a triangle and end up with a shape and a form like that there. So that's it. It's very aerated there from the side. You'll see there that the, the uh, legs don't touch the top and uh, you've just got the spigots going through there into the top and you've got the spigots going into the base rail there also. So that's it. Not much if I just turn it around the back. I didn't bother with the actual lift on the side here. In other words, the inlay. Didn't bother with that. So if we rotate it around again, these little giants here, they can be mitred on the corner, they have to be scribed, these ones here, simply because you're going into a groove. So I'll show that as well. And then if we rotate it around again, bring it back to its original position, you can see the little four-feeted legs. So it's going sitting on a timber floor on the side. So now it's ready to be delivered to its uh, final resting position, and all it has to do is support uh, a TV. Now there's more than enough, it's extremely strong construction. As I said, triangles give a very strong construction. So the extremity of that would be a triangle if I brought it to continue down up the sides. So you get the general gist of it. Gentle slopes, just light, airy, that's what I was after. Didn't want it to cumbersome. Now, okay, that there probably will pick up a bit of dust, but you always have to have a compromise with every design. When I'm working on something that's for myself, I can just let the imagination rip. If it's for a client, well then obviously, you might have to strip down the design more, but in my case there, I just let it rip and be what it ends up being what it is. So I, I have this shape, this was already drafted up prior to starting, and I did make subtle little changes as I went along. I tend to like to compose uh, some of the elements of a design so that I'm not um, at the final part of the design just from at the very, inst at the very start of the whole process. So I like to make little subtle changes as I go along. So that's it. Anish Kadi and Kay Dorella. Until the next hour we meet, Slong the Fold. Bye for now.